This ambulance simulator is the same size as the back of an actual ambulance where students learn to care for patients in the same amount of space as they would in the real world. Staff say that's to make their training experience as realistic as possible. Yeah. Essex County Newark Tech High School is redefining training for future generations of emergency medical technicians. With a life-size ambulance simulator equipped with hydraulics to mimic road conditions and a mannequin that screams, cries, and vomits. <laughs> Students are learning firsthand what it means to be an EMT. So far we have learned CPR, how to install um, nasal and oral airways. We have learned how to use the AED. Skyly Ramirez is a senior at the school who will graduate in just three months with her certification ready to hit the ground running in the trade. The teen who dreams of one day becoming a physician's assistant is hoping to use what she learned in the program as a catalyst to kickstart her medical career. It's like, wow, I already have a job set after high school. I already know what I can do in the industry. It's very exciting to be able to see this before going to the real world because we get those first in hand experiences. The the technical school is the only high school in the state to have the transformative equipment, according to staff. The EMT program helping to fill a need as the industry experiences a shortage in medical professionals. In our profession, we are at the largest shortage anyone's ever seen nationwide in the last five years. The school is hoping to set students up for a lifetime of future success while cultivating a pipeline of healthcare professionals. Whether it's a cardiac issue, whether it's a, a violence issue, or any of those things, it's, it's very important that we have students right here in the pipeline to fill those voids. Now, there are three technical schools in Essex County. The goal is to expand this program, possibly bringing ambulance simulators to the other two technical schools in the future. In Newark, Jeanne Caldwell, PIX11 News.